G'day guys, how are we going? Well, my camp storage boxes, yep, I've been using them for a little while now, and I'm gonna show you how I pack up those boxes for when I go away camping, and you might get some ideas how to pack up your camp storage boxes. Let's get into it. Just before we get the, the first box out, and you might remember I've done a lot of changes to the back patrol here. Used to have, you know, the big timber drawers in here. Well, they've now gone, I've gone back to these plastic storage boxes, and for me, they work really well. So everything that was inside and stacked on top of those um, timber drawers that I used to have is now packed away in these four boxes. Other than my recovery gear, I keep that on a bag, you know, inside a bag on the floor in the front seat there. Because I do a lot of solo stuff, it's just very handy for me to get to rather than come around the back here. So I keep my recovery gear there. So this is all, all the gear that I've, I've got here from food and cooking gear. So we'll check out the first box and uh, we'll show you, show you that one. Get that into there. Now, this is going, the food box is the first one we're going to grab out. Now, again, I, I just keep things pretty simple. Um, so everything in there that I've got in my food box, uh, you know, I've got some chopping boards in there and a few other bits, of, another couple of chopping boards, you know, just some, some um, paper roll there. And then a few things that I keep here all the time, you know, things that don't perish, aren't perishables, I keep them here all the time. So I've got my cooking oil in there, um, spare tin of peas, beans, or corn and beans, peas and guts in case I need it. You know, veggie mites, keep that in there all the time. Your salt and peppers, um, dishwashing liquid, all that sort of stuff's kept in there. And then my storage boxes, which are empty at the moment, but they'll get packed up at some stage there when I head away on another trip. So that's, you know, as you can see, I've, I've still got a stack of room, so there's still quite a lot of stuff that would go into this box, you know, with loaves of bread and a few other items too after I've done a food shop. We'd all go in there, but there's plenty of room still to get all my food inside this box here and the other thing i do with with this food box um, when i come home from a trip this is the only one that really particularly particularly comes out of the patrol all the time i take this inside my house drop it in the kitchen there and then i take any food that's inside this box here that's say perishable uh, comes out of this box goes into my pantry and then i use that food up just to get rid of it and then once i finish with it there it just sits in the spare room inside until the next time then when i've got to go camping again Go and bring the box back out, put it in my kitchen, pack all my food that I need back inside this box here, and then from here, carry it out to the patrol here, lay it up in the back, and I'm on my way. So that's one thing I, I like about, certainly with the boxes. Um, it certainly works well with these storage boxes, for, especially with the food for that idea, uh, how I can leave it inside and pack all my food away um, from inside and then just carry it all out in one go. So we'll just get on to the next one. So that's the food box done. Now, this next box that I'm going to get out, this one here with the black lid, um, this has got all of my you know, knives and forks and that sort of stuff in it. And it even comes with a kitchen sink, this one. <laughs> it's got the lot. But again, you know, it doesn't weigh a great deal. And the other thing too, you know, you might have seen, you know, with some of my videos that I've been doing, um, the only two boxes that come out when I'm on a camp trip are these two here. These other ones, these two here, they stay in the back of the patrol all the time when I'm out there camping. Fairly heavy gear, um, so I'll leave that in there, and especially that box, which we'll look at in a minute. It's not stuff that I sort of need a lot of all the time, and so it stays in the back there. Um, and then these are the only two that come out because, you know, food, and then my knives and forks and utensils, but check the lid out on this. This is what I've done with this. How cool is that? So my plates, I've, I've now got set up here in, in the lid, inside the lid here. I've got a knife sharpener there and a knife. Uh, serrated knife and then, then some tongs there for turning over my snags. Nice, easy to get to. So all I've done with this is I just got some bungee cord and then just drilled some holes through some of the through the ribs here. And then I've also made a, an indent in the in the ribs here where these now sit nicely inside in there. It's a good tight fit. They're not going to move around. And they sit in there inside those indents and then they're not going to rattle around and, and move around. And then just a couple of plates here. Now I've only got two. That's all I need. Uh, a couple of plates in case I don't, you know, do dishes one morning and then need a plate plate for the night time. Well, they just sit under there, very easy to get to, under that bungee cord. Um, and yeah, you know, it'll sit there, no worries, but I'm just holding it up so I can show you what's going on in there. And then we get to the kitchen sink, um, which is everything's in here. So that's, that's my kitchen sink, just one of those push out collapsible sinks that I've got there. Um, very handy, very easy, very nice and easy to use. So that's just there. And then just tucked in away behind that is just my colander there for draining my passes because I do have a few, quite a few passes out of my trips. And it's just always handy, you know, having 
um, some paper plates or that sort of thing, um, just, you know, just those times where you don't get any dishes done or you can't be bothered doing some dishes so they can go in your rubbish bin there. Or, you know, water might be a bit light on. So it's always handy just keeping a packet of those just for those times, you know, where water could be a bit, bit hard to get and you're trying to save some. So you're not going to be doing any dishes on, on those sort of trips. And then that just tucks away again behind the bit of bungee cord I've got there. Holds that back to the box there, no worries. And then, you know, I've just got a few things. Again, I've only got two bowls, so again, and one of the disposable one um, from doing some wheat bix or whatever else, just one bowl there that I keep for washing. And then, you know, my trays there from putting pies and, and that sort of stuff inside my oven. A couple of small saucepans here. Um, these are very handy for, for cooking. And then my mixing bowl there. Uh, when I'm doing um, scrambled eggs and that sort of thing on the campfire, or, you know, making a damper and that sort of thing. So another, another small saucepan there which is very handy for um, any sort of cooks ups that I do. And, and then just in this box down here, um, this one here has just got just a little measuring device. I use that for um, when I'm making my dampers, that sort of thing for measuring up the flour. Just my morning brew cup that I use there. And then I've only got two of everything. So two knives, two forks, and then, you know, a couple of spoons and that is it. Um, that's all that goes in there. You know, I'm not carrying 10 knives and 10 forks for just for myself. So I only take what I need, you know, a potato peeler, you know, a whisk there for my scrambled eggs, and just a small sharp knife there for, you know, for cutting up tomato and that sort of thing. Very easy to get to, and all that stuff just sits in there nice and easily. And there's still a stack of room inside that box with all that sort of stuff in there. So that just sits in there. Then it's a tea towel, little canister there. Um, for a jet boil in case you want to boil some water up, you know, inside the road quickly. That's very handy for that. And as you can still see, there is still a stack of room in there, you know. I've, I've absolutely fine-tuned, you know, all, all my camping gear and I only take away what I need. And everything that I've got gets used pretty much on every single trip. So I'm not carrying gear around that, that you know, can sit in the box for, you know, for trips and trips and never get used. And, so, you know, fine tune it. I mean, it's not the flashes of gear, but at the end of the day, it'll still cook anything that I've got in my, you know, my kitchen at home. It'll do the job, and that's all it's got to do. It's got to do the job. So that's that one there. And this is, like I say, this is really trick. I like this idea. Um, Utilising the space in the top of the lid here, um, just for keeping that sort of stuff up there. Works really well. Oh, better put me bowls and that back in there. So there's still a stack of room left over in there. Now we'll get on to the next one that locks in there. Now, these two here, as I say, you know, they, they just stay in the back of the patrol on way on a camp trip, but I'll grab them out now so I can show you what's going on. And as you can see, the different colors that I've got going on, so I know what's in them all the time. Um, there's no guesswork in, rather than getting them all the same colors, or otherwise you have to put maybe some labels on the front of your boxes and then you can find out what's going on inside your boxes. But this one is just sort of odds and ends. Um, wheel brace there in case I've got to change a flat tire. Uh, stainless steel bucket, use that plenty of times for boiling up some water. And then just sitting inside that, just my extension awning, which tucks away inside there, no worries, which goes on the end of my awning if I'm based camped up for a little while longer. Um, my tent pegs and ropes, you know, for extra ropes there, tarp, um, my compressors down in there, bag of ropes, okay, you know, for, for tent pegs and that sort of stuff, and my awning ropes are all in there. Uh, a little timber plate I've got in there too for sitting a jack on, you know, if you've got to change, uh, change some tyres, very handy to have, a, have a, one of those going on. So that all packs away. Now this, pretty much all this stuff I've got in this box, this is what sat on top of my boxes, of the boxes, when, of the drawers when I had them. So now they all tuck away nicely inside here and um, fits in there, no worries. That just tucks away down in there, all very easy and it's simple to get to. And uh, just a great idea and works exceptionally well. Now we're getting to the last one. Now this one here, this is my camp kitchen box, I suppose, if you like. Got all my camp fire cooking gear in it. Again, pretty heavy. And again, that's another reason why it stays in there. I just drag it forward and um, get out what I need. So this one here, got all my cooking gear. So there's my big frying pan stuck in the top there. Uh, good old Billy. <laughs> um, yeah, it uh, does all my cook-ups in the morning from my morning cuppers. Um, good old toasted sandwich maker there. That's all tucks away in there. Some Billy's in the corner. 
Uh, I got my camp oven down in the bottom down there. Again, just sucks in, in the bottom there nice and easily. And then just in this little box I've got down here, um, got some gloves there, just this little box I've got here. And this is just a few odds and ends I've got in this little box. So that's my jet ball there. Um, that just screws on top of one of those little canisters in there. Just screw it on there if I want to boil some water up. Out when I'm out there on the bush in the side of the road, that's very handy for that. And then my flint there for starting the fire, the campfires in the morning, you know, knife there, a pair of tweezers, just some string. Just all handy little bits and pieces, you know, that you just never know, you just might need them. So they sit nicely inside that box there. Lid goes back on. Sits down the bottom there, no worries, plenty of room. And all that stuff, you know, again, all, all that stuff, well, this stuff was all inside the big drawer that I had, so this was inside the drawers. Um, and now, just all nice and flat, tucks away inside this box. I'm feeding them, I, I just like it. It works, the boxes absolutely work really well for what I do, um, you know, because I can take them out when I get home if I'm not going away for a while. Take all the four boxes out, and then you're not driving around all the time, you know, with, with those, if you've got drawers and that sort of stuff. But again, they're not, they're not for everyone, they won't suit everyone, but for me, the storage boxes, you know, for my camping, put all my camping stuff in, my food and cooking gear and that sort of stuff, it just works an absolute treat for me. And uh, this system works well. So I still, I've got to show you this one again, it's just bloody damn good. I just really like it. That one there, what I've done with the lid, you know, just utilize that space. And, you know, you might be able to do something similar with, you know, with, with your storage boxes, if you've got some plastic boxes, um, do something similar with that. Absolutely fantastic. Well, there you go, guys. That's my storage system and how I've fine-tuned all of my gear uh, to now pack it away inside these four boxes and it just works well. So there you go, guys. I'd be pretty keen to see what do, you, what do you guys use. Are you using boxes or maybe you're thinking about getting boxes? How do you pack up your stuff? Have you got any little little tricks that you've done with your boxes like that? You know, how you've been able to make things simple, easy to get to and utilise the space in your boxes. So I'd be pretty keen to hear what you guys have done with yours. So there you go. I'm going to pack this gear up and maybe look about heading bush. Thanks for much tuning in guys, greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one. Hooray. Right.